Yes, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another video. As always, it's a pleasure. As I always say, if you get any value from the video, please like and subscribe. And if you've got any thoughts or ideas or comments, please leave in the comment section down below for the algorithm. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about my overall experience with methotrexate. So I'm still taking methotrexate, but almost four weeks ago, I started taking Adal Imumab slash Humira. Some of you might know it as. And so I wanted to do a video talking about my experience while I was just taking methotrexate because obviously now I'm taking the Humira, it's more likely that my pain is going to reduce more or I'm going to head in towards full remission. As so far, my experience is very good. So I'm just going to give an outlay of why I've been taking it, how much I've been taking, and then towards the end of the video, I'll give you my overall experience and review of taking methotrexate. So I was diagnosed with sciatic arthritis in April 2023, even though I was experiencing symptoms for quite a few, quite a while leading up to that. You know, you can still see that my fingers are a little bit messed up, especially this one. I, I can't bend it properly. And I was in a lot of pain. After seeing the rheumatologist, I was prescribed methotrexate 20 milligrams to be taken weekly. When I first started taking methotrexate, I was given the pills, which are two and a half grams each. So you've got to take eight pills once a week, which for me doesn't really bother me too much, to be honest with you. Before taking the methotrexate, I was very nervous, as a lot of people who seem to watch some of my videos are, because when you Google methotrexate, there's a lot of people with a lot of very negative experiences and some very unpleasant side effects. Now, from my experience, when it comes to side effects, I experienced pretty much nothing. I would say when I first started taking methotrexate, I had a little bit of fatigue, but that might have actually been down to the condition itself rather than to the methotrexate. But I didn't have any nausea. I didn't have any headaches. I really didn't have any problems at all. In regards to my bloods, a couple of times my red blood count and my lymphocytes were low, my white blood cells, I think. But, you know, because when you take methotrexate, you've got to get your bloods done quite regularly. The following uh, blood test, things have always come back into range. My liver enzymes, ALT, has been out a few times, but that's also happened quite a lot before I started taking methotrexate. So it could be a, a separate issue, but side effects wise, really no problems at all. Um, and I hope that puts some people's mind at ease if you're watching this, because from that perspective, it was very positive. It took about three to four months for me to start noticing a difference. Now, when I say a difference, what does that mean? that I wasn't in really, really excruciating pain all the time, just walking and doing pretty basic things. So what I would say is that if, at the point where I was in the most pain, I was sort of at a 10 and a zero is being normal. I would say methotrexate, methotrexate took me from about a 10 to a six in regards to pain and also swelling in my joints. I mean, it didn't take away the swelling in my fingers at all. And while on the methotrexate, more of my fingers started swelling up, such as my ring finger, which, you know, sort of looks okay now. And the same with this little finger, which is slightly bent, as you can see. So it did something, but it didn't help me to the extent that I was hoping for. I've read some stuff where some people say it puts them in complete remission. I've read some stuff which says it does absolutely nothing for some people. For me, it's sort of... It got me about halfway, probably a little bit less than that, I would say. I don't think my sciatic arthritis is really severe, but you know, I'm 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 a pretty tough person. I can take pain. It takes a lot for me to be I'm not going to sit there and cry over a little bit of pain. And there was a lot of times where I was in a lot of pain and I had to cancel work. And it was obvious I, I was in pain. If you saw me walking down the street, it was clear I was in pain. I was limping. I was walking really slowly. It was quite obvious there was something wrong. But after taking methotrexate and it started to work, you wouldn't really realise there's anything wrong. I still couldn't run. I still couldn't do explosive sports such as boxing or football or anything where 
a change of direction really quickly is possible, but I could go to the gym and lift weights to a reasonable level. You know, not, not a level that I'd like to be lifting at, but at least I could lift weights. And, you know, before taking the methotrexate, I, I used to have to walk down the stairs like one step at a time and hold on to the banister. And after taking methotrexate for a few months, I could just go down the stairs pretty easily. So from that perspective, it was positive. A few months after taking the tablets, I switched to the injections. Why is that? I think my rheumatologist just wanted to see if it would uh, benefit me anymore because obviously the the pill form didn't put me into remission. And there's some stuff which suggests that by bypassing the gut and just injecting methotrexate straight into your system, it's more likely your body is going to absorb uh, the whole dosage. To me, it didn't really make any difference, it would seem. I prefer taking the injections personally, just because I prefer the idea of injecting myself rather than slow uh, swallowing something all the time. Is that having an impact on your gut? Who knows? But the injections are pretty, are pretty simple. They're painless. They're very self-explanatory. And I just prefer the injections. I've taken the injections on holiday. It's been no problem. So... That's kind of the gist of it. So my overall view of methotrexate is it was helpful. I didn't get any side effects, but it wasn't the answer. And I'm hoping the Humira really is going to be. Because after being in a, in a lot of pain for a year and a half, which I'm sure some of you can relate to if you're watching this video, I really just am very excited about going back to a life where I don't feel pain anymore. And after being on Humira for four weeks and my pain subside, subsiding, I'm realising I think I was actually in a lot more pain than I realised. Because when you're just in pain with every step you take, of course, you build up some sort of desensitisation to everything. So Mephitrex say overall it was a positive experience. I couldn't really put any negatives on it as it stands. Everything's been Everything was pretty smooth. The only downside is it just didn't put me into remission. But to be honest with you, I didn't really think that it would. And when I first saw one of the rheumatology nurses, she looked at my hands and she said, I think you're going to need biologics. And that was just after taking methotrexate for a couple of months. So maybe if your cases are quite severe or in the medium to severe category, then you're going to need something more. But maybe if your psoriatic arthritis is a bit more mild, you know, you're just in a little bit of pain, you haven't got loads of swollen fingers, then it, it may be enough for you. But as I said, for me, it was a positive experience, no side effects. So if you're watching this for some sort of reassurance, then rest assured, even though everyone's experience is different, mine was really not that bad. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. As I said, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you and wherever you are, I hope you have a really good day. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a cracker, Mom. Peace.